Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. This is Greg Hughes. This video is about the master page feature in our software. The master page feature is a very convenient way for you to update your website in one fell swoop, so to speak. So what's a master page? A master page is a special page within your website structure where you can store content that will be common to multiple pages or even all of the pages on your website if you want to. So a master page will be a place where you would store maybe a header and a footer, navigation, something that you want to appear throughout your website, but you don't want to have to copy and paste those objects on every single page, because when you get a really big website with multiple pages, it would be hard to manage. It's much easier to keep that all in one spot so that you can update it in one place and have it update the entire website. Okay, so enough said. Let's look at it and see how that works. Now, I have created already in advance some of the objects we're going to be working with just to save time in this video. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a page called Master or Demo or whatever you want to call it. It's a page that only you will work with. It's not something that your visitors will find on the Internet. In fact, I'm going to show you how to protect that. So I've created a page. I've called it Master just because that's easier for me to remember. And when I did, the first thing I did was I went to the page properties of my master page and I did something unique. I checked these boxes. Don't synchronize this page in my navigation in case you use, say, the menu bar and you synchronize. Then I don't want this as part of my navigation. I don't want to include this page in search and I don't want it in the sitemap. This is not a page we want people to find on our website. It's a page we do want to publish though because it's going to help provide content to other pages on the website. An important note about using a master page is whatever you put on your master page will be what will be assignable to other pages. However, your page properties for the master page will not be applied to the other pages. So that means if I change the formatting for my master page, let's say I put a background image here, this formatting would only apply to the master page and not to the pages that are associated with it. So you really don't need to do any background formatting for the master page. It's not going to be applied to any other pages. So that being said, let me show you what I've done. So I've created a master page and I've put some objects on here that I want common to multiple pages, maybe even all of my pages. One of the things I did was I put sort of a header here. I just used the shape tool in this case and made a kind of a black uh, square thing and then or a black box I did it down here to make a footer with a gradient and these are just the shape tools you, you these might be images for you or something else I've also put some text here so you can see what's gonna happen I have a little Twitter bird and some more text and then I've used the menu bar not the nav bar but the menu bar to create my navigation I'm gonna double click on that so you can see uh, what I've got here I've got a lot of pages on a website and I've got my menu bar navigation already worked out. All of these point to the right pages, etc. And I chose a style, you know, this particular style. So my, my menu bar is already made. If you don't know how to make a menu bar, there's a video about that. You could also use the nav bar, any other kind of navigation. And I'm ready to go. So now what happens is, now that I've got my menu bar made, if I ever want to make any changes to it, instead of having to update my menu bar on every page of my website, I would just come here to my master page, double click, and I could edit my menu bar here. I could edit my navigation. I could say add a page or delete a page or move a page around, whatever I want to do, save it, and it will be applied to all of the other pages that the master page is associated with. So now that you see that I've made a master page, let's go see how to apply it to my other pages. So for example, Here's my index page, and all the content that you're looking at here is unique to the index page. It's just some text and some graphics and some shapes and all kinds of goodies that you would imagine on my index page. If I apply the master page to this page, then it'll add all the master page objects, and here's how I do it. Under the advanced tools in the toolbox, there's a tool called master page. I click on that object and I simply drag it anywhere I want to onto the page. When I double click, I'm telling 90 Second Website Builder where to get the master page content. And remember, I stored it on a page called Master. So I select that, I say OK, and watch what happens. I've now picked up in one big object, notice this is now not several objects, but this is one layer, it's called, that's sitting on top of my index page. 
and I can simply apply it there. If I make any changes to the master page, this content will also be affected. Let's, let me show you what I mean. Let's go back to the master page and let's just make a, a minor change so you can see what I'm talking about. I go back to the index page, you can see the object changed with it. That means all of the navigation and all of the images associated with the master page will be updated on my index page because I've added it. So let's look at another page. Here's products. Again, if I want this to be part of my website that has the master page objects, I simply use the master page tool. I go like this and I assign this page to the master. Click OK and there it is. And again, it keeps the content, it's getting its content from the master page. Well, this is really important when it comes to working with things like navigation because if you can imagine, with as many pages as I have here, I'd have to have that many navigation bars. Now I only have one and I can just simply apply the master page to whatever I want. But here's something that's kind of important I want to show you. Let's go back to the index page and let's do an F5 and preview my menu bar. So here's my page, which I haven't cleaned up yet. You see I have some messy stuff over here, just for the sake of this demo. Here's my page with my uh, master page content, and part of that is this menu right here. And you'll notice I have these nice pull-down menus. I, I'm hovering over, and everything seems to be working just fine. But here's a problem that could arise. Let's say that I bring in an object later on, after I've applied my master page object here. So let's bring in an image. Let me go get the image tool. And let's just bring in some kind of an image. Doesn't matter what it is. Here's a tiny little image right here. And let's just put that image, just for the sake of argument, to make my point, let's put it right here. And I know that doesn't look great, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. Now when I go to preview my page, I'm going to have a problem. As you can see, this image is on top of my menu. Well, why is that? Well, it's because of the what's called the Z order, the order of the object. Since I brought this image in after I brought in the master page, it's just it's laying on top of this object and so as you can see it was on top so to fix that all I need to do is select the object go to arrange and just move it back I don't want to move it to the back but I want to move it back like this if I move it to the very back it will go behind that gray box but I'm just gonna move it back one and now let's preview and now you can see my menu item does just fine because I moved it back. So sometimes when you're working with a master object you'll see that a, a pull down menu or something will cover something up. All you have to do is change the order in which it is layered on your website. Very simple. Here's my contact page which is completely blank. I have nothing on it. But if I was to apply the master page object like this, double click, assign master, now this page will have the master page objects on it and I can begin designing. But again, as if I do this and I start putting in images, I have to be careful that I don't block my menus from uh, from showing. So if I put an object here, I want to make sure I move it back behind this particular object. Once you once you understand the concept of the master page, you can apply everything on the master page to as many pages as you want to. And you can have multiple master page. I could have master page number two and apply that to other pages and you could have as many as you want. So learn to use the master page tool and it'll make your updating and site maintenance much easier to do especially when it comes to navigation.